Hello, everyone, and welcome. Today, we're going to be speaking to Anna Zapieri about higher education options for American students in Italy. Anna was born and raised in Italy. She holds a master's in math and physics and began her career in astrophysical research in IT before eventually moving into the field of education where she was a high school teacher and principal. Today, Anna is currently the education attache for the Consulate General of Italy in San Francisco. Welcome, Anna, and thank you so much for being here today. It's so nice to be here. So what is the Italian university experience and education system like compared to that of the U.S.? That's a good question, Hilary. Uh, I want to show you a slide to better explain how the Italian system works. The Italian education system is quite similar to the American one. Five years of elementary school, three years of middle school, five years and not four for the high school. At the end, students are ready to go to the university. The first step is the laurea breve, that's mainly your bachelor in science or in arts. At the end, you may uh, apply to get a laurea magistrale, that's your, ma uh, that's your master. And then, if you're willing to continue your studies, you may apply to get a PhD that lasts three, four, or six years, depending on the courses you are willing to study. There are specific courses that are um, for which you have a single cycle degree. That means that you have a bachelor and a master all together. Those courses are in law, education, and medicine. As here in the US, we also have uh, professional certificates at the end of the laurea breve and at the end of the laurea magistrale. They are called specializing master of first level and second level. First level are the ones that you may apply at the end of your laurea breve and second level, the ones that you may apply at the end of your laurea magistrale. I think that the main difference between the higher education system in Italy and the US is mainly in the laurea breve. As previously told, it lasts three years and not four. And here in the US, students have to follow a general education pattern, either in arts or in science. And during their studies, they may choose a major, a minor, or both of them that they are willing to focus on. While in Italy and more commonly in Europe, when you apply for a laurea breve, you have to choose a specific um, area of study and that's the one where you are involved so that at the end you have a, a bachelor or laurea breve in economics or history or math and so on and you can choose a second minor or major in another uh, different subject of study. What is the criteria for an American student to apply to an Italian university? So let's start from the bachelor. Students holding a high school diploma who have passed at least three US advanced placements with a score from three to five in three different subjects uh, related to the uh, university course selected can be enrolled to the first academic year. The holding of an AP in Italian will be a mandatory requirement only for students with foreign citizenship. An AP in Italian will not be acceptable in the case of students with Italian citizenship or in the case of enrollment in courses taught entirely in English. Another chance is that uh, students in possession of a high school diploma, which is followed and supplemented by a complete year of college or university can also be enrolled. And lastly, if you got an international baccalaureate diploma, you must uh, meet these following requirements. First of all, at least for, uh, 24 points in six subjects of choice, 12 of which must be obtained at higher level. And second, you have to pass awarded in the three principal subjects that are a theory of knowledge, um, creativity, action, and service, and access extended essay. Anyway, it will be the responsibility of the university to perform the evaluation of qualification, taking into account the entire education path followed in line with the national and international regulations in force and on the basis of their autonomy. 
It means that if you don't have three APs or you don't meet all the requirements for the AB, the university could still enroll for your curricula or because that simply don't require it. That's why I always suggest students um, look at the university website for the specific rules for international students and in case to contact their admission office. Also remember that uh, it is mandatory to sit an entry test to have access at uh, specific courses such as architecture, medicine and surgery, veterinary, healthcare professions and primary education sciences. The reason is that there are specific quotas for international and Italian students. Also, some universities may require a minimum value for your SAT or your AST to skip their entry test for specific bachelor degrees. Finally, minimum requirements are to have a bachelor, to apply for a master, and a master or a single cycle degree to apply for a PhD. You talked about entrance exams for certain programs. Are those programs taught in English or are they taught in Italian? You may have both of them, so both uh, taught in English and both taught in Italian. And also the entry test can be uh, either in English if you are an international student or in Italian if you are an Italian student. So you talked about the Italian education system. Can you give us some examples of specific Italian universities and what you think the benefits of studying in Italy are? I think there are many reasons to choose an Italian university for the excellence in research, science, and creativity, for the outstanding educational system, for the wide offer of courses taught entirely in English, for the extreme competitive tuition fees, and last but not least, if you had the chance to study Italian in your high school, you can start using your uh, Italian language skills. Let's have a look at the QS World uh, University Ranking by Subject 2021 to give you examples. I'll show you only courses where uh, Italian uh, universities are among the first 50 worldwide. Let's have a look at public universities. First of all, Politecnico Milan. It's number five on art and design, number 10 in architecture, and it's among the first 50 for the engineering, number 13 in civil, number 15 in mechanical, number, one, number 20 in uh, technology, and uh, number 22 in electrical, and so on. Then let's move to Rome with La Sapienza University, number one for classic studies and ancient history, number 10 for archaeology, number 41 for physics, Let's move back to the University of Bologna. Again, number 20 for classic studies and ancient history, number 39 in dentistry, number 40 in modern languages, and then agriculture, and then law, and so on. Let's consider Polytechnic of Turin, number 15 in engineering of petroleum, number 30 in engineering and mechanical, and let's continue, number 33 in civil studies, number 34 in architecture and so on. Let's move to private university. I think that Bocconi University is uh, the best one that you, we have in Italy. It's number seven in business and management. It's number 14 in accounting and finance, number 16 in uh, management and number 18 in economics. I want to show you a few outstanding examples of universities that are not among the a QS a world ranking just because there are no competitors for them. The University of Gastronomic Science in Bra, Italy, it's a private university for food, and the Motor Vehicle University of Emilia Romagna, it's a public university. I would say it's a consortium of public universities in Emilia Romagna along with the best automotive brands such as uh, Ducati, Ferrari, Dallara, uh, Lamborghini and so on, to, um, all together to create um, a few masters in automotive that are uh, the best in the world. That's really amazing. So, so how can an American student who's interested in studying abroad find um, an Italian university that could be a good fit for them 
And also, can you talk to, a little bit to the application and enrollment procedures to attend an Italian university? I think it's particularly easy when you look at the right websites. First of all, you have to choose the university that works for you. So go to studyinitaly.estery.it, scroll the page, go to the research your options. As you can see, you can choose the language for your studies, for instance, English. You can choose the programs, for instance, undergraduate or graduate degree, the disciplines so that you can look for the major you're willing to study and push the search button to find all the wide range of opportunities that you have. Examine the programs so that you may be able to find two, three universities you are willing to pre-enroll and then go to the uh, university website, specifically to the international student website, to look carefully to all the instruction that they are going to give you to pre-enroll and then to enroll to the university. So previously you spoke about uh, the competitive fees to study in Italy. Can you talk a little bit about what it would cost? First of all, the European university system is mostly based on public funding. And that's why European universities and Italian universities can provide excellent quality for very low tuition and fees. Each university defines the amount of fees and contribution to be paid, and it depends on the course that you are willing to study and your economical situation to ensure the right to higher education. You must present the documentation confirming your economic situation and assets. This documentation must be translated into Italian, legalized by the Italian diplomatic authorities in the place of origin. But let me give you a few examples. For instance, the University of Bologna, the amount of fees may vary between zero euros and a maximum that may be 2,000 euros for bachelor degrees and 2,500 euros for masters. It may be something less than 6,000 euros for non-standard courses. For the Polytechnic of Milan, the amount of fees varies between zero euros and the maximum amount that uh, 3,700 euros a year for bachelors and 3,800 euros a year for masters. For the Motor Vehicle University of Emilia Romagna, the maximum annual fee for masters are 3,000 euros or 2,000 euros depending on the courses. Lastly, private universities are more expensive than public universities. So, for instance, in the University of Bocconi, the maximum amount is slightly less than 13,000 euros a year for the bachelor and 14,000 euros a year for masters. Anyway, remember that Italian higher educational institutions welcome non-EU students, so they can also apply for merit-based uh, scholarship or awards both in public and private universities. They are offered by the Italian government or by the university themselves. Again, check on the university website. The section with fees is always accompanied by a section with scholarships and grants. Those are extremely competitive prices. Will international students have access to loans if they need them? Well, nowadays, specific loans for students are also available in Italy. So universities, in agreement with banks, give Italian and international students the possibility to apply for ad honorem loans. If an American student is interested in studying abroad in Italy, do they need to speak Italian before they move? Well, that's a good point. I think it's better. Although there is a variety of undergraduate and graduate courses in English, you must consider that you are going to live abroad. So I think it should be better uh, to have a basic knowledge of Italian that you may improve once you are in Italy. So if your high school offers Italian courses, take them. If not, 
look for a community college that opens its courses to high schoolers or uh, look for cultural associations as Fondazione Italia that have courses specific for teens. So if an American student decides to study abroad, there's a lot of things to consider, like the cost of living. Can you talk a little bit about that and if the universities that they will be attending provide any assistance to international students? Cost of living is definitely cheaper than in San Francisco or Los Angeles. The overall living costs for students in Italy range between 700 and 1,000 euros a month. And this includes accommodation, food costs, public transportation, entertainment. Milan and Rome are just a little more expensive compared to the rest of the Italian cities. And again, the specific university website may represent a useful resource. For instance, the University of Bologna give you info about housing and residences and also about uh, university canteens and places to eat with specific discount for international and national students about uh, opportunities that you may have for uh, culture and sport. On the Polytechnic of Milan University website, you have info about residence hall and canteen and dining, and again, opportunities for culture and entertainment. On the University La Sapienza website, you have info about special housing agreements and specific handbooks on study and live in Rome. And also private universities give you info about housing. For instance, this is the website of Bocconi University. So a lot of students like to combine um, their studies with potential job opportunities. Will international students have access to internships uh, while they are studying in Italy? Definitely, yes. As I think you have now realized, Italian and international students have the same duties and possibilities. I can give you a few examples. On the Polytechnic of Milan website, you find a specific section for internships and trainships. And as you can see, they can offer curricular and compulsory positions, curricular and optional positions, and extracurricular. On the University of Bologna website as well, there is a specific section for internships. So as you can see, there are curricular internships and postgraduate internships and vocational internships and internships abroad if you're willing to visit other countries. The Bocconi University as well as a specific uh, job gate platform for internships, both for uh, Italian and international students. So once an American student has uh, earned their degree from an Italian university, can they stay in Italy to try to find a job or do they have to come back to the United States? You may apply for a blue card. That's a EU work permit. And you can do it when you have a valid work permit or a binding job offer. It lasts for two years, it's renewable. The procedure lasts less than one month and it costs 100 euros. Are Italian degrees recognized here in the US? In order to study or work in the US with an Italian degree or a professional qualification, it is necessary to obtain a credential evaluation from a recognized American Evaluation Service Agency. While, if you apply for a program that closes with a dual or double degree between an Italian and an American university, at the end you have two national diplomas that are fully recognized both in Italy and the US, and so with no necessity to go through an evaluation agency. I'm an American student and I want to study in Italy. Can you give me a brief overview of the path that I need to take from high school to the university? It's basically a four steps procedure. So first of all, look for the university that fits your needs on the website studyinitaly.estery.at. Second, verify the entry requirements. Third, follow the enrollment procedure. So go to the website of the university to register online and to obtain your credential. Then follow the procedure to apply online, uploading your transcript, your CV, and eventually letters of recommendation. Finally, complete your application, sending the original transcript and the original application receipt. Check your application status so that when it's green, it means that your application is uh, 
complete it and then you can confirm your place paying the administrative fees. Remember to check if you can be considered for a merit-based scholarship. And last but not least, you are welcome to the Italian consulate to get your study visa. Remember to go to the consulate general of Italy in the place you reside or study. That's a procedure that's compulsory if you don't have the Italian citizenship. And then you are ready to go. Thank you, Anna. This has been extremely informative. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao.